What is Flash? For a long time, at least when I was growing up, maybe when you were growing up, Flash was one of the ways that we got rich interactive media content onto the web. Flash, like Java applets, is a plugin. It requires a separate piece of software to run in, inside the browser and to render the content. So, you know, let me give you an example of a place where you can still, it, it's getting harder and harder to find Flash uh, for reasons that I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but one of the places you can still find Flash is on these gaming websites. So here's, uh, here's Max Dirt Bike. Uh, if you want to test whether this is Flash, oops, um, I thought it was Flash. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So if you, if you right click on it, um, you'll see that it says, uh, about Adobe Flash Player uh, 2300, uh, whatever, that this is the current version. Um, so, you know, and, and this is like a, you know, an interactive game. So I can, uh, I can hit start. This is some sort of, I'm going to play a computer game now in an educational instructional video. I don't even know how to, how to do this. Come on, let's go. Arrow keys. Arrow keys? Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I was terrible at games. That's probably one of the reasons that my life is the way it is right now. Um, anyway, so, so th this is you know, an example. And this shows you, you know, some of what's possible with Flash. Um, now, Flash, like Java applets, so you know, again, we can still talk about what Flash is rather than what Flash was. But Flash is a technology that I would argue is really on its way out. And there are some reasons for this. So, one reason is, like Java applets, Flash has always required this separate piece of software to support it. Um, and that piece of software has to be updated. In certain cases, the makers of those pieces of software have really done things that have been kind of stupid from a strategic perspective. So for example, at some point, Adobe started trying to charge developers to use various uh, features of the Flash player, and that really angered people. They eventually stopped doing that, but you do something like that briefly and you do some damage to your developer community. The other thing that happened with Flash um, is that you know, HTML5 caught up. One of the big uses of Flash on the internet was video. So for a long time, YouTube, for example, would stream video by using a Flash player that was embedded into the page. Now, HTML5 has native support. So newer versions of HTML have native support for things like video, for things like audio, for 2D drawing uh, using the canvas tag. And so some of the, the core reasons to use Flash, specifically video, went away. And if you look at YouTube, they've moved away from Flash Player into native HTML-based uh, players um, over time as well. The other reason, uh, actually, I think, was a letter that was written by Steve Jobs at some point. So at some point when, when he was alive and in charge of Apple, he sent out a very critical note essentially saying, Flash is a mess. You know, Adobe doesn't do a very good job supporting it. It causes a lot of crashes on our systems. And pointing out that at that point, sort of the nascent HTML5 standard with new support for some of the interactive elements that Flash was providing, HTML5 was going to win. So, you know, you can still find Flash on the internet, still out there if you go to these sort of gaming sites or whatever. Um, and, and we'll be living with it probably for a while. But to some degree, it's not the way that we build modern interactive experiences on the current internet.